Hello there, inspired tenos. Plural. There is a lot of you now. Last video was very heavy on the theory side, and I'm not saying that that's an ass pull. That's it's very important to understand your fundamentals. But I want to throw you guys a bone in this video and give you something you can do right now to. I almost said actively, but it's actually passively increasing your platinum gain, or rather the value of your account. Uh, so let's talk about that. Basically, let me just really quickly explain how the syndicates work for those who doesn't know. You pick a syndicate, uh, it doesn't really matter which one, and then uh, you click initiate down here. Then what you want to do is that you want to go to your arsenal in the back of your ship, and you want to go to appearance and sigils you want to pick either front or back sigil it doesn't matter and you want to apply the sigil of the syndicate you picked now whenever you gain affinity which is basically experience in this game you will also gain standing with this syndicate once you reach the max amount of standing you can have with the syndicate then you'll be given the opportunity to offer a prime prime part and this is always a unvaulted and thereby available prime part. Once you've done that four times, then you will be at the maximum rank and you'll be able to buy augment mods. Well, I guess you can't search for augment, that's fine. So here you'll see different Warframes have mods specific to them. And these mods tend to sell for around 12 platinum, 13 if you get lucky. Again, just throw them up on warframe.market and let them sell themselves. So essentially, this is three gains, because if you're playing the game at all, then you'll be earning affinity, and this affinity will then automatically go towards something that you can spend on something that will increase the value of your inventory. For example, there, I just increased the value of my inventory by 12 platinum. I just did it again. And also, half of the standing you earn with your syndicate goes towards uh, their allied syndicate and that doesn't count towards your total standing cap. So if you have 10,000 standing uh, maximum, then you'll be able to earn 50,000 because half of it will go towards the ally. Again, do we have despawn in here? We do not, but we do have energy vampire, I think. Yes. There we go. Just increased it by another 12 platinum. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that will actually look like um, over time. Here we are. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. Good. At mastery rank one, you will be able to earn 1000 standing a day plus 500. So that's a thousand base. 500 to the allied syndicate and then another 500 which doesn't scale then each mastery rank basically you increase your standing cap by 1500 you really increase it by 1000 but again with the allied syndicate and this over here is how many augment mods you can buy you can buy a day um, these are rounded up that's why some of them are the same number but you know it's actually not quite the same number that's fine so at master rank one you will be able to earn one platinum a day which is not to be um you know realistically you will have to level up your syndicate so you will not be able to utilize this at master rank one but i don't think most of you are at master rank one anyways once you reach master rank 14 which is you know where most people hover around uh it's sort of the mid tier of warframe you will be able to buy um almost a augment mod every day and uh, this will result in 10 platinum. If you do this every day, then you will have uh, 10, uh, sorry, 20 platinum every other day, which means that you will be able to cover all of your um, Warframe, uh, what is it called, the Orican reactors and the Orican catalysts, uh, just by doing this. And the reason why this is, you know, really powerful, because if you look down here, even at like master rank 31, I'm only gaining 22 platinum a day. 22 platinum, that's not a lot. But the thing is that you can do almost all other activities in the game. Any activity where you earn affinity, again, which is basically all of them, you can have this just going in the background, passively earning you platinum. 
and over time this is really going to add up right over the course of a month if i cap up my standing each day that's almost 500 platinum and it's a one-time setup it's basically no investment i cannot recommend that you do this enough I know today is a little bit of a short episode, but uh, that's really all I have to say about that. So I guess you'll just have to warframe.subscribe.